Hello, power users. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the PDF generator in the signature field, two features that go hand in hand in letting you create, send and receive PDF documents filled with dynamic information fetched from an Elementor form and designed using Elementor templates. Here's an example of what we can expect after having mastered these two features. Here we have an Elementor form that we've set up with name, email, and message form fields. We're going to fill out these forms with placeholders for the sake of the example, and we're going to write our placeholder signature using the signature form field we've added to the form. After clicking send, let's check our inbox. We will have received an email with the contents of all the fields, a link to the signature image, and attached the PDF document we've designed beforehand, dynamically filled out with the data from the form, complete with the signature. To get started, we first need to enable both features. We will find them in the Glue dashboard under Forms Extensions. After toggling them on, you will notice that we've split the PDF generator into another add-on with a link to download it just to the side. This is to avoid unnecessary load for users that do not want to use this feature. After downloading, we will install the add-on just as we would install any other plugin. The first thing we're going to do after that is to create a form. Inside, we've set up the fields we've seen before, but taking care to create a short code for each that will be easy to identify and remember. To be precise, we have a name field with a short code of field ID equals name, an email field with a short code of field ID equals email, a message field with a short code of field ID equals message, and at last the glue signature field with a short code of field ID equals signature. For this last field, we've also turned on save as file because we want to use this inside a PDF. Of course, after we've set the form up, we can style it with the signature field having its own design options. Now we can go to actions after submit where we'll add the PDF generator action. This will in turn show the settings for the PDF generator action. We can choose the page size, we will stick with A4 now, and we can toggle on custom export file name and write our preferred file name. Here you can see a page mapping option, which will ask us for a template shortcode. Before we can fill this field out, we're going to create a new Elementor template. This template we prepared is fairly simple and for demonstration purposes, but you can make pretty much what you want here, provided we follow certain necessary steps. We've placed our logo with an image widget and set the image size to custom where we need to specify the exact size in pixels as that's what the PDF generator requires for images. A trick we can use here is sizing this image as we normally would, then previewing the page and inspecting the image to see the resulting size in pixel which we can then type back inside the Elementor editor. Here we put some static text in a heading widget that is going to stay the same. Next, this is where the magic happens. For each field in the form, we paste their shortcodes inside a text editor widget. We can style this every way we want, and the PDF will retain the design. However, we need to make sure that we've selected the text editor widget and not the heading widget for this. Let's make sure we've set the container to 100 view height so that it fits nicely within the page, and let's click update. Now we can close this and go to the back end where we will find that we have saved this template as glue PDF tutorial. Simply copy its shortcode and go back to the page where we were editing the form. Then, simply paste the code inside the page shortcode field in the PDF generator form action settings. What will happen as we've seen is that once the form is submitted, a PDF will be generated with dynamic values according to the form field inputs. We can then receive the PDF as an attachment to an email by setting up the email action after submit and toggling on attach glue PDF. Let's make sure that everything is working by using our placeholder data again. Let's send and check our inbox. There it is. By the way, this all works very well with the front-end post submission feature you can find in Glue 2, letting you save all of this form data into a custom post type of your choice and then generate a PDF at the same time. Thank you for watching. We're sure you found these features to be extremely useful, so we renew our invite to visit demo.glue.oo to try them out yourself, along with every other Glue feature among the 90 plus we offer. And while you're there, join our community of Glue experts on Facebook, where we will answer any questions you may have. Link in the description.
See you next time.